If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, everybody, we got another Divine Skill unit to talk about, and it's Zorga today. So we got the new skill for Fate of Wana Taboo, Zorga and the Deer and we're gonna be talking about its divine skill and my thoughts on how good it is. Zorga has had a history of honestly being a really good deck to begin with, just with Alchemagic being a good mechanic in general and just powering up units, especially units that gain criticals. So you got a full board access to a bunch of resources and criticals. So let's kind of just dig into Zorga Nadir's skill and talk about how much Zorga is getting buffed based on this. So right into the skill, First, we have the continuous ability, which is when you play a normal order, you can choose a normal order with a different name in your bind zone and alchemagic, which means that you no longer have to use the cards in your drop zone. You can use the ones that are already in your bind zone from either prior alchemagic or from the skills of other units that put order cards into the bind zone. The act ability is energy blast two, bind a normal order from your drop, choose up to two cards from your drop call them to rearguard circles, and they get 5k for each normal order with a different card name in your bind zone. At the end of the turn, you retire those units. That's already insane because you're calling two units and they're probably gonna get 10k, 15k, depending on how quickly you can bind those normal orders. And then depending on the range of different normal orders you're running in the deck, you, you could just have those two units be your big beat sticks for the rest of the turn. That's huge. This is such a good skill. And then going to the divine skill, which is when this unit attacks a great through a greater unit, you soul blast one, choose one of your columns and you stand all the rear guards in that column. At the end of the turn, you retire those units. So this is a perfect example of like saving that divine skill for that final push. If you know you're like, you know what? This is a really big column and a lot of pressure. I'm just gonna stand it and force my opponent to have to guard this fourth attack for the turn. Zorga has never had multi-attack, so this added pressure could actually mean a lot for the deck in general. So overall, looking at Zorga Nadir, this deck looks really, really good. So this is probably gonna be another really good meta contender when DZBTO2 drops. That's just Zorga by itself. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the rest of the support as well to kind of talk about how good this deck really is. But real quick, we're gonna go into the ride line because we got some new ride line cards for it as well. So starting off for the ride line, we got a fish looking starter, or I guess like sea creature-ish. Disastrous Slurper, just like all the other starters when wrote upon, if you go second, you draw a card. The grade one, Abyss Fishing, it's a zombie fish looking monster thing. When it's wrote upon by Split, the preordained, you can soul blast one, look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one unit card and up to one normal order from among them, reveal them, put the revealed normal order into your hand and you discard the revealed unit and you shuffle your deck. So that's clearly to help you kind of build your drop zone for units to call and also help thin out your deck. The normal order being your hand is obviously there to help you for alchemagic stuff. Split the preordained is the grade two, which is when this unit is wrote upon by a unit with Zorga with the divine skill, you can choose up to one normal order from your drop and you put it back into your hand. That also has a continuous rearguard ability. If you played an order this turn, this gets 5k power. So that means after you soul blast it, you could potentially bring it back just to be a decent beat stick. It doesn't hurt. This seems a lot better than its predecessor, which allows you to draw two cards. Then you have to discard an order. If you don't discard an order, you have to discard two cards. So even though the chances of whiffing was really low, there was still a chance. But the fact that this just lets you add something without having to discard, or I guess the only thing you're discarding is the second card you revealed. So the, this is just a way better card for the Zorga ride line, and it's gonna make it way more consistent because you're also filtering your deck as you're going through the ride line. So enough about the ride line. We're also gonna talk about the Zorga support that's in the set as well. So going right into the triple R, we got a grade two, Abomination of Impending Karma which is when this unit is placed on the rearguard circle, energy blast four. Bind a normal order from your drop zone, this gets 5k until the end of turn for each normal order with a different name in your bind zone. Then when it's in the drop zone, at the beginning of your battle phase, if you have a Vanguard with Zorga with the divine skill and you did Alchemagic, you can call this card to the rearguard circle. And if you called and your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit gains a critical. So now we have two different Zorga units that gain crits when they're called from the drop zone. So you can play both and just have a front row full of units with crits on top of the fact of if you do use the divine skill, one of them can restand and swing with the crit again. That's a lot of pressure. We also got a couple of order cards as well for support. 
We got Clutch of Toxin. You play this card if you have a Vanguard with Zorg in its name with the Divine skill. Choose one of your Vanguards and it gets the continuous red text of when this attacks, you can retire a Rearguard. Choose one of your Rearguards and you retire it. This unit gets 10k until the end of the battle. That one I'm not too sure if it's good or not, but you know, maybe I'm not seeing the plays here. Maybe giving your Vanguard an extra 10k is really good, but to waste an order slot just to retire something on your opponent's board when you have to retire something yourself. Maybe it is good for certain situations. Again, with Alka Magic, you can kind of pick and choose what you're working with. And if all this stuff is stacking your bind zone, it might be good. The other one looks really, really good. Fill the Skies, O Brand of Corpses. If you have a Vanguard with the Zorga and its card name and the Divine skill, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets the continuous red text ability. All of your Rearguards placed from the drop zone get 5,000 power. Now while on paper, 5K doesn't seem like a lot, but it's that extra 5K that can make the difference. Especially if every turn you Alka Magic and you're choosing cards from the bind zone, you could just choose this one and give those units that you're calling just that extra bit of 5k that could make the difference when you're pushing for game, especially if you're going to be restanding one of the columns. Overall, I think this Zorgo looks really, really good. A divine skill that you can kind of time and wait till you're going to use it for extended attacks. I think that's a lot better than a divine skill that would have been something like search your deck for two order cards and add them to your hand. That'd be really bad, huh? But the fact that the act ability is just an energy blast cost, it's not like counter blast or soul blast, this is something that kind of ramps up as you're going through your turns, seems pretty minimal. Energy blast too, buying a normal order from your drop zone that you're pretty much gonna be doing every turn anyways, to call two units and the units you call might get crits on them and they're just gonna have a bunch of power. It just seems so free and so good. I don't know, I think Zorica players are eating really good in set two. And I think they're gonna have a lot of fun with all the support on top of the stuff that they already have for their current Zorga deck. But those are pretty much my thoughts. Zorga seems really, really good. And I bet a lot of people are really looking forward to playing this deck. I know some people think that wasting a divine skill on just restanding a column doesn't seem that good. But considering the fact that Zorga decks were never multi-attacking before and we're still winning, I think giving them the ability to do one extra attack can go a long way. But that's it for me. I'm gonna let you guys go with the short one today. My name is Richard and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.